from Sony, the one and only. So Sony have launched a new division specifically designed with one target customer in mind, gamers. And the aim and sole purpose of this new Sony brand is to help gamers win more games. And they're calling it the Sony in zone. And just the other day, a Japanese Sony Santa Claus came down the chimney with a bucket of KFC and these brand new Sony products. Okay, I just made that up, but they do like KFC at Christmas in Japan. So what we have here is the new mid-tier Sony InZone H7 gaming headphones. They're designed for PC and console gamers, specifically the PlayStation 5. They have 40 hour battery life. They have wireless connectivity over the 2.4 gigahertz band and they do have Bluetooth and they are Discord certified. And right now my current gaming headphones are the SteelSeries Arctis 7P Plus, which were number one in my top five gaming headsets compared video. So that's gonna be the benchmark which I'm gonna be testing these against. And next up I have the flagship Sony M9 gaming monitor. It's 4K, it's a full array backlit panel. It supports HDR, it's got built-in speakers and it's got a one millisecond input response time which is insane. Right now I'm using an LG Ultra Gear. I've had it for quite a while. It's 2K 144 Hertz and it's a traditional edge lit display. So this is definitely gonna be better than what I'm currently using, but how much better? We're about to find out. So I just wanna take a minute to shout out the sponsor of this video, NordPass, from the company that brought us NordVPN. One of the best VPNs in the game comes NordPass. The key to good online security is staying on top of your password game. But it's easy to lose track because some websites want special characters, some don't accept special characters, and some websites will insist that you reset your password every few months. And really, it's quite a messy business and one that hackers like to take advantage of. For example, if a website slips up and lets all your passwords leak into the public. But if that happened, how would you know? Well, with NordPass installed on your phones and tablets and computers, you will know because NordPass will alert you to passwords that may have been used too many times and sites that have recently been breached. And NordPass also supports autofill functionality, which means when you go back to a website that you've used in the past, it will auto populate the password for you so you don't have to spend any time scratching your head thinking, what variation of that password did I use for this site. And trust me when I say it will be worth your time and money checking out NordPass. And if you do want to check it out, go to nordpass.com forward slash what gear, use the code what gear at the checkout and you will get one month for free. And if you do decide to keep NordPass going in the future on a premium account, it's less than one pound a month. It's worth every penny in my opinion. So go check it out. But that's not all. Sony have also loaned me the flagship Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV, which I've been using to shoot the intro of this video. And I'm going to be using throughout this video to shoot certain B-roll clips. And you'll see the little IV Roman numerals in the corner when I am shooting with the Sony Xperia. So keep an eye out for that. And as we speak right now, I am using the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV's new Music Pro app to record this voiceover that you're listening to. So Sony fans, do me a little favor, hit me a thumbs up because this video is gonna be a little tricky for me to make. So anyway, I'm gonna get these out of the box and give you guys my honest first impressions and reactions to these new products from Sony. I'm definitely a fan of stickers. So we've got USB-A, USB-C cable for charging the headphones. So here's your Sony Gooba, and on the side, you've got the PS5 and PC switch. And inside the box, we do have some printed quick start instructions. So here are the headphones themselves, and straight away you can see they are very PlayStation 5 themed. One thing that struck me about these immediately is how soft the padding is on the ear cups and the headband. There's a lot of padding on the headband and it doesn't seem to be a lot of pressure on the headband as well, which is a good thing for prolonged gaming. I do like this style of microphone, the boom arm, especially when it activates when it's down and deactivates when it's up. I think that's a really good way of doing it. There is nothing worse than your mic being on when you don't realize it. And with this kind of style, it kind of avoids that. And there's some nice little vents around the edge of the ear cups. And I hope that's a bit of ventilation because another thing that bothers me about some headphones, including the Arctis, is when your ears get a bit too warm, it becomes uncomfortable. So hopefully Sony have addressed that with that design feature. So when it comes to buttons on board, we have a power button here, Bluetooth button there, and then a game chat rocker here. And then on the other ear cup, we have a very prominent volume dial, which I really like. 
very easy to find because it bulges out more so than any other button in the perfect spot. So it's really nicely designed and there's a good bit of resistance there so you're not gonna hit it by accident. Here's a guide. I'm assuming these are cable management clips, possibly. And that is a very PlayStation looking stand right there. Got your power brick, use a manual. And this bit of metal here is the back part of the stand. So it's like a tripod in a way. And it's been designed in such a way that your keyboard can be super close to the monitor or even under the monitor if you want it to be whilst playing. And here's the actual display itself. And here's the back of it. And you can see it's very PlayStation themed. Everything is very PlayStation themed. And if you look closely here, we have a joystick for navigating the menus and the power button there. And behind this vent at the back, right across here is LED light strip. So be interested to see what we can do with that within the settings on the monitor. So there we go, that's everything that comes with it. I've got to find a screwdriver now to put this together and then I'll set it up and give you guys my first impressions on Sony's new InZone gaming products. As you can see, we've got a bunch of ports available here, a bunch of USBs, HDMI 2.1s for 4K 120 Hertz. It's gonna be good. So there is some cable management here. There's a hole right here to run your cables in and they pop out here at the top so you can feed them straight into the ports here. So they're not visible once it's all set up. Okay, I'm all set up now, monitors plugged in, cable management dealt with. And you can kind of see how this Sony gaming ecosystem is really coming together. It looks like they've used the exact same materials on the headphones, on the controller, and on the monitor as well, and at the back of the monitor. Now it's time to see what these things can really do. So the first impressions of the sound quality, in my opinion, just here on the dashboard, is straight away, it feels like a big open space, like it's got a wide area and a very spatial sound to it. I plugged the dongle into the front just because I was being lazy, but check this out, I just discovered really nice bit of LED lighting there on the dongle, that's pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do now is play a little bit of Warzone I'm not familiar with the new map, so I'm probably going to get my ass kicked. But if I can hear where I'm getting my ass kicked from, then that is a definite win for these headphones. Check this out. When I change the volume here on the headphones, it changes the actual PlayStation headphone volume. So the colors are really popping right now. And this is quite a bright room at this time of day. And the anti-glare coating on the screen is reducing that a lot. Wow, it feels very responsive. So. This monitor has a one millisecond input response time. A good gaming monitor normally has about four. So this is a very, very good gaming monitor on paper. The crispness of the character is way sharper than what I'm used to as well. The color accuracy looks brilliant as well. And that's something that Sony have always been good at because of their Bravia expertise. But not only that, also their involvement in cinema grade monitors. So that kind of expertise from Sony is here on this new in-zone monitor. And the black levels are good as well, and that's because of the full array backlit display. What makes the full array backlit really good is the fact that certain areas can turn off. So let's say half of the screen is dark, it can switch off LEDs in that part of the screen. Not only is that gonna save some power, but it's gonna create that wider dynamic range. Wow, <laughs> this looks smooth. Whoa. You know what, I think the detail there on the 4K helped me out. And he had loadout as well. Oh, come on teammates. Teammates let me down there. So I will say this, even though I'm coming from a 144 Hertz 2K, the response time is noticeable it's considerably better and the fact that there's more details more pixels on the screen i can spot things a little easier than before and also because the contrast is better i can see more stuff in the darker areas of the screen so thanks for watching this unboxing and first impressions video i will be doing a proper review on these products so make sure you subscribe notifications on for that appreciate you guys for watching this one and if you just subscribed you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man and i'll see you in the next one so don't be late.